Hey, what's up? Mirai here with another video effects tutorial, and this one is going to cover some of the actual functions of this sexy feature. I will say that if you are watching this video and have no idea how to use video effects in the least, then you'll want to watch the introductory video, which covers the absolute basics and will help get you started. The link is in the description. Also, for this video, I will be using a custom window layout that was designed around video effects with these three windows along the bottom. Unfortunately, I will not be covering how to create such a layout in this video, but I felt that it would help to better show the features that I'm going to be covering. So, to set the stage, I've got three characters in my party, and they've all been designated with numbers that I've added in the bottom left-hand corner for ease of identification. Now, let's pretend that all of my characters have information on their mini-maps that I would like to keep track of at all times, regardless of whom I'm playing from. And we'll just say that these little blips on the map are the important information. Rather than have to set up a bunch of sources and then set up a bunch of viewers one at a time to make this happen, I can utilize the sync feature because the information I'm trying to display is located in the same area on each client. So, in the Icebox or Control Panel, I'll start by creating a source like I normally would. But because I'm creating this source on my first character, aka slot 1, I'm going to put the number 1 at the end of its name. I'll hit Add, and then let me punch some numbers into the editor so that I can get this thing positioned where I need it. Okay, now that I've got the source positioned, I can hit the Sync button, and... Nothing happens. Hmm. Well, actually, if I switch over to my second character and break open the control panel, I can see that there is this new source that's been magically created with the same dimensions and is in the same position as the original. Now, because I'm on slot 2 of my character set, the new source has been given the name Map 2. Remember, we started out on the first slot with Map 1. This is the second slot labeled Map 2, and the third slot is labeled map 3. If there were more slots attached to my character set, then the naming scheme would continue on down the line. So, I've got my three sources now, and I need to create the viewers. I said that I wanted to be able to see this important information at all times, so that means I'm going to start off by creating viewers for both map 2 and map 3 on my main character. Once I've got the viewers for both of those created and in place, I'll need to hit the sync button again, which will automatically create the viewers on the other clients just as before. Syncing viewers does not require any special naming scheme because viewer names should always match the source name that they will be viewing. Now that they're synced, I'll flip over to my second character and there's map three, but where's map two? Well, a limitation of video effects is that you can't use a viewer for a source when that source exists on that screen. And you can see how this holds true if I change over to my third character. I can see map 2, but I can't see map 3. Now because I dislike having this empty space here, I'm going to fill it in with a viewer for map 1. And because the empty spaces on my two characters are in different spots, I do have to create and position these viewers manually without being able to sync them up. And if you'd be so kind as to give me just a second to put these into place. Okay, now that I've got all this set up, I notice that when I mouse over my new viewers, I'm not able to see the little tooltip of information that's normally provided. So I need to fix that as well. I can bring up the VFX options for each of my viewers and just enable this setting here called Repeater Pass-Through. After applying the change, I can just resync the viewers and the change is then pushed to the other viewers as well. Except I will need to take care of my special case map one viewers on my second and third characters myself. All right, everything is looking good, but I think there's just one more thing I would like to take care of. Throughout this video, I've been swapping between my characters using the slot swap hotkeys that I assigned in my character set. They're not super convenient for me to press, but they get me by. Now there's a handy feature that's built into video effects, which will let me swap between my characters with a bit more ease. 
I'll bring up the options for my video effects viewers one more time and enable the enable video effects focus hotkey setting. By default, the focus hotkey is set to Alt and Mouse 1, otherwise known as Alt and Left Mouse button. So let me finish this up. And now I can put my mouse anywhere on a viewer, hold down Alt, click my left mouse button, and I'm instantly swapped over to that character's screen. Pretty fancy if I do say so myself. This is the reason why I filled in the empty areas on my second and third characters so that I would be able to swap around between all three characters with ease. As for the video effects focus hotkey, it can be assigned, changed, or completely disabled in your character set. Well, I think that about takes care of this tutorial, and if you happen to have any further questions, comments, or concerns, please visit the ISBoxer forum or the live chat.